Hello, Jim McGrew here again. We're going to try part two, machining the uh, 3D model unwrapped in the rotary axis. Um, if you remember, uh, in the first video, we had unwrapped the King model, um, placing the back of the model at the outside perimeter of uh, my work area so that there'd be uh, the least amount of sanding and seam problems um, after the rotary is done. Um, at this point, uh, I want to go back to wrapped output, and I have created a two rail sweep um, here, which I intend to uh, place right above my king and center it and get it back into the work area. And uh, at this point, I'm going to take my two models and mer set them to merge and group them which is just a personal preference now if you look I've built me a um, what in effect is a tab a 3d modeling tab so that my bit will not go through my material and cut my model loose too early okay now at this point um, if you remember, um, what I've done is I've determined that my the width of my material and the width of my model is 10.9956, which is pi of 3.5, the diameter of the material that I intend to cut from. Um, using that number, I have created a rectangle, which is uh, um, basically... Uh, uh, basically big enough to uh, cover exactly the width of my material here and extend uh, just far enough over my uh, tab so as to uh, cut my entire model and yet not cut through the top of my material. I've also placed the bottom of the uh, uh, vector on top of, if you can notice, just a little bit on top of the base of my material here so that uh, it will also not cut off uh, the base of my material and without having to put a tab on the bottom. Um, once I've done that, I um, come to my uh, 3D view and go to my 3D machining, which I have selected a ball nose of 1.25 inches in diameter. Um, I uh, am going to raster with the material and uh, calculate my uh, machine. And while we're waiting for that, um, you can see the progress bar continuing. The new Aspire is tremendously fast. Uh, I'm going to reset preview. At this point, you can uh, see that uh, uh, the, the uh, machining has taken place on the material. If you want to look at it, you can go to Toolpath Drawing and wrap X values and actually see the uh, toolpathing in the round. Um, at that point, um, I can come and choose to preview my toolpath. And what it's going to do is it's going to perform the machining function. And generally, when I click on uh, a material choice, I now have a uh, machined 3D you can see here um, the tab, the effect of the tab so that the machining will not allow the tool to cut through the material. Um, thank you and keep making comments and we'll see what else we can uh, produce. Thank you.